All right, hello again, and uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, I want to introduce you to the PT201 weather station. Uh, we received this um, recently, and I've been really eager to get this thing set up at home. Um, I did open up the, read the uh, manual for it. Uh, got a little bit familiar with it a while ago. And so uh, we'll be looking at this together and uh, seeing what's in here. Um, it's got some really neat features, uh, time and calendar, uh, workday and weekend clock alarms, temperature and humidity, weather forecast, comfort level, temperature alarm, data trends, and the moon phases with this as well. So you can actually see uh, what phase the moon is in um, on uh, this seven and a half inch uh, screen. So it comes with the manual on top here. Um, it's got your weather station right here. Um, this is the uh, this is the one that you um, keep inside. This is your outdoor uh, sensor, um, so you can you could actually add more of these to the unit as well if you want to check the uh, uh, other places around your house uh, as well. Um, see how the the uh, temperature is in different areas, and then it has your power cord adapt. This weather station will run on AA batteries or you can charge it into the wall or your computer even using a USB. So it has the USB charger on one end uh, and the, uh, the adapter here um, to plug it in. So let's take a look inside here. Uh, it's got a little stand here on the back where you can open it up, um, prop it up on the wall. Um, settings on top for uh, snooze and nightlight uh, to set your alarm, Celsius or Fahrenheit temperatures that you can adjust, and you can even set alerts on here. Ah, there it goes. All right. And fortunately, I just put our um, USB charger over here. I'm gonna get this plugged in for us, and we'll see what happens. Because I've not plugged this in before. Ah, lights right up. Let's remove our protective layer here. Pull from here, it says. Okay, there it goes. Pull from here. So you see it's got their temperature in uh, Celsius here, 24.7 degrees, 40% humidity. Um, it's ready for the clock to be set and the date. Um, so it's ready to get all set up. Um, also telling us the phase of the moon here. So we're going to go in and we're going to change our temperature to um, Fahrenheit setting, 96 I'm sorry, 76.4 degrees. Thank goodness it's not 96 degrees in here. 76.4 inside with a 40% humidity. And um, we'll get all these uh, time and date set up here with these buttons on the top. So we've got it plugged in. We've got it set to the temperature. Um, the date and time are gonna have to be set here. And then this is the display for the outdoor temperature, um, which is going to come from your uh, satellite station here. So this will sense the temperature and humidity. This one will also tell you the barometric, barometric pressure, uh, which will let you, uh, which will forecast the, this will also uh, uh, forecast the weather based on the barometric forecast. So our unit here can be powered, as I mentioned, uh, with the USB. It can also uh, be powered by uh, two AA batteries. Um, the satellite unit uses two AA batteries as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those batteries in here now and then Hopefully we see a display come up here on this side. Battery compartment slides up here. Uh, one thing it mentioned in the instructions was to check the channel. This will broadcast on three different channels uh, depending on which one you choose. So right now I'm just gonna set this to channel three. And then there's also a push button back here to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And uh, we'll check that before we put it away. Batteries pop in nice and easy. This is set on channel three. So now uh, the channel button is right here on the top. I can change the channels to match the channel that's on the, uh, the other sensor. I'm gonna change these channels. So we have our batteries in here and um, we set this to channel three. This is our satellite station. I'm gonna set this aside. It, it's giving me a temperature here of, uh, in my hand, 27.6 degrees Celsius and 43% humidity. And I've got 42% humidity here on this. They're very close to each other here. And let me change this button here to give me a temperature uh, in Fahrenheit. Okay. And now that this is sitting on my lap, it's getting a little bit warmer. It's 80.6 degrees on my lap. Okay. So, and this is in my hand, it says 81.6 degrees. So, 
Um, now we're going to um, change the channel on the receiver here to match the channel on uh, the weather station. That says channel three. Let me click on set. No, it changed it to one. Okay, so right now I'm actually changing the clock. Okay, I got on the wrong part where I was trying to change things. Let's go ahead and set the time while we're here. So we're changing the, we're using the Celsius Fahrenheit button to uh, change the time. It looks like it'll also work on the channel button. Oh, it even changes the year. So when all else fails, I'm going to read the manual. You set, you hold the set button for three seconds in order to change the time. And we got 24 hour mode, so we're good with that. So click set again, time, we got, we're happy with that. And we're gonna change the year, change the date, make sure I got the right date. Oh, it's letting me change the language here. So it says Saturday. Very good. Okay. So now uh, by by hitting the hitting and holding the set button, we're able to change the time using the up and down arrows that are on the top. Okay. So we've got all that set. Um, choose your language. Um, it's telling me the phase of the moon here and the temperature and humidity. If the connection failed, please hold the down arrow for two to three seconds. Okay. So it says that if the if the sensor does not connect to uh, to our weather station that we just press the uh, down arrow for two to three seconds to establish a new connection. And then we press the TX button on the back of the sensor to have it resend a signal. So this is our uh, temperature and humidity, our time and date are on here. And then this is where our remote sensor is going to display. We're gonna push this, uh, since the display did not connect to the sensor automatically, we're gonna hold this channel button down for three seconds. And then we're gonna open up the battery pack here and press the TX button uh, so it'll resend the signal. So let's go ahead and do that now and watch it work. So hold this for three seconds here and let's press this. There we go. So now we're connected here with our outdoor sensor. We can put this anywhere. We can put it you know, in the attic if we want to, see how hot it is in our attic. Um, you're gonna see there's a temperature difference and a um, humidity difference because I'm holding this in my hand, which is gonna be more humid and more warm than the uh, the one that's in this hand uh, that I'm able to hold a little bit loose. So um, again, you can connect three different sensors to this. So this can tell you the temperature outdoors. It can tell you the temperature in your attic um, or even uh, uh, upstairs and downstairs or in different rooms of your house. Um, so you can put these remote sensors uh, anywhere and you can connect three of them uh, to this machine. Um, this That way it makes it nice and convenient to find out temperatures and humidity uh, wherever those sensors are. And it's going to transmit a signal so it's not constantly, uh, it's not using as much battery by doing a constant signal. Every 60 seconds, it's going to update your temperature and humidity on your screen here. It'll send a new signal. So again, we have the PT-201 series weather station. It has the time and calendar, workday and weekend alarm clocks, temperature and humidity. It even has a weather forecast that we'll uh, set up on here. It'll forecast the weather up to 12 hours ahead for you. Um, it has a temperature alarm, data trends, moon phase, alarm clock uh, with a snooze button as well. So you can set that up and uh, use it as your alarm clock as well. Um, look at your alarm clock, you're going to see the weather forecast for the day as well. So that's really a helpful feature. Um, give it a try. It's a really nice little gadget here. I like it and uh, I'm looking forward to using it, getting one of these uh, sensors set up outdoors and seeing what it shows us there. If you take a look at the back of this unit here, you see there's, um, this pulls out for a stand. So you can actually stand it up on a tabletop or you can, um, it'll uh, wall mount. So it's got a wall mount attachment right here. You can mount it up to your wall. It's got a battery component back here. Plug in three AAA batteries to uh, the main unit, two AA batteries, for the, for the remote sensor. You can use this with or without the power cord. Runs on uh, USB power, so you can plug it into your uh, laptop if you like, or you can have it plugged in directly to your wall. So this will also alert you if there's high humidity in your home. Um, also for temperature uh, changes, extreme temperature changes, uh, you can set up alerts for those things. Uh, so it's gonna give you a warning uh, if something's wrong. Um, sometimes earlier than you might uh, find it uh, without this machine. Low battery warning to let you know if your battery is low on your sensor. So, um, or on the unit itself. So we have four different brightness levels on here and plus an off light. So you can uh, lower it down, save your battery if you're running it on uh, battery power. Also for sleeping mode. Uh, so this is the brightest mode and then it goes a little dimmer, dimmer still, Barely on, you can probably see this pretty well at night. And off. 